Hey, I'm just wondering, it's not like weird or creepy that I've gone out of my way to have an entire exact replica of your outfit and weapon made so I can use it and then copy your fighting style or anything like that, is it? <laughs> I'm in danger! Hello, my fellow Wong Longers of Lowly Wong. What, what was I saying? What did I just say? How are you getting on? I hope the answer is very good, because it better be. But I'm about to make it even better than very good by letting you in on the secrets too. Well, the best armor and weapon set and build that that then implies that you can grab fairly early on, and the best part about it is you have a fair amount of choice when it comes to which said weapon and armor set you go for. All of them, though, are very much ridiculously powerful and, I mean, awesomely fun. <laughs> Seriously, I love uh, this stuff, and I love its unique martial arts. Anyway then, what am I talking about? Well, of course, as you've been playing for the game, you've had your AI companions, your reinforcements, they've been helping you out as part of the story, and just being generally, hopefully, for the most part, nice and useful. And again, for the most part, they are nice and useful, but the most nice and useful part of them is... Well, when you convince them that you're good enough friends that they should just, I don't know, give you their clothes because you'll do a better job wearing them than they will. This is done by deepening the bond of your oath with each individual warrior. It goes from level 1 all the way up to level 10, where you become their sworn brother. You may have noticed that when you're fighting through the level with them, it pops up at the top left, your bond with so and so has deepened. That means you've gone up a level. You can slowly build the levels of the bond via just killing stuff with them. That's the kind of long way to do it if you just want to hard grind it, but I'm here to tell you a way to do it much, much quicker than that, and it's with Cup of Cordiality. These things, they give you a massive amount of experience towards the bond each time you use them, and you can get to level 10 very quickly. Of course, you might not have found many, as they're quite difficult to come by. However, have I got the farm loop for you. So, you want to head to this battlefield here. The Demon Fort of the Yellow Heaven, very early on in Chapter 2, and then you want to follow this exact path. Forward up the cliffs into the cave, run straight through the cave heading to the right, you'll drop down into the area with the demon lightning bird thing, open up the door, run across the open area, veering to the left until you get to a ladder, climb up the ladder, head forward, drop down the hole, run a little bit further forward and open a chest to grab yourself a cup, then head out the room, put your flag in and reload the mission and repeat. With this you can get a cup about every 30 30 seconds or so, which means within five minutes you can get enough to power level any given warrior to Swan Brother and get their stuff, which is obviously really tasty. So, when you do get to level 10, you get a delivery in a game that you can access via any of the battle standards at the very bottom. You get a little bonus at level 5, but level 10 is the full weapon and equipment. You can see what each warrior is going to give you as it is what they're equipped with. You can look at each one, look at their armor, look at their weapon, and have an idea for what might work well for you if you have seen them fight, see their weapon style, see which of the virtues they're aligned with, that will give you a good indication for what might be the way forward in terms of picking your favoured friend. Or, you know, just look up all the weapons and armor on the wiki and pick the best one. Either way, however you do it, that is how you do it. So here I, of course, have gone for... Long Jing, as she has a wooden cudgel in the Jade Green Staff, and that is by far and away my favourite weapon and playstyle, and the actual armour set itself lends to both a combined wizardry and cudgel playstyle, giving benefits to both. And that is where the power here lies. See, these armor sets are special. They're not just good armor sets with their random selection of perks. See what you get. Of course, you can embed in and out to make it perfect. But 
but they generally have actual set bonuses as a reason to use them. So here with this one, we get a little bit of extra health, we get less cost on our wizardry, we get ourselves a boon of power when we use our wizardry, and then we gain a big old increase to our cudgel attacks, which is really, really nice too, and it makes it very worthwhile using it. A lot of the times, the weapon itself also counts towards the set bonus, so to get every single perk, you will have to use the weapon with the armor and go all in, but there's nothing wrong with that when the weapons themselves also tend to be very powerful and in a lot of cases come with unique martial arts like this fanning peacock with the spinny spin fireball fireball with just how awesomely badass and potent that is once you start upgrading it. And in there, I have to give you the next tip, upgrading it. Obviously, you'll be getting all of these at plus zero, so make sure you do visit the smithy and pour some of your hard-earned leather and iron into them. The weapon, of course, but the armor itself, despite giving the set bonus, obviously here gives me tiny amounts of defense, but after some ranks, we're up to like 100 on the chest piece, which is obviously really, really good, especially for how lightweight this one. I also happen to think that aesthetically, this is just a really, really cool armor set, and I'm very glad to have it, and it is absolutely the literal best armor and weapon combination I can have for my chosen playstyle of wood staff wizardry until the very ultra end game where there is a upgrade and I will get back to you guys with some end game builds and best weapons and all of that stuff very shortly too but for as you go through the game and indeed some end game builds as well your very best options your best weapons your best armor are going to come from getting to sworn brother with the warriors that are fighting by your side stealing their very equipment and then doing a lot better with it than they did with it as you show them how it's done I hope then this has has proved useful for you, opened your eyes to perhaps something you maybe even didn't realize or really didn't realize you could do it so soon with this awesome little farm loop. But for now, like if you've enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more. Consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a good bye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye